so as we have done differentiation now this is the other version integration that is opposite of differentiation now for integration we have integral of s raised to power n ds will be equals to s raised to power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c now this is general formula for integration so we don't need to cram the formula so integral of s raised to power 3 ds that will be equals to s raised to power now look at it very well you see that the power is n what do we do to the power we added n plus 1 so divided by n plus 1 so now the power is what uh, 3 so what are you going to do just add 1 to the power divided by as in that power again that is 3s plus 3 plus 1 plus c so that will give me s raised to power 4 over 4 plus c that is integration now integral of s raised to power 9 ds so now the power is 9 so that will be s raised to power 9 plus 1 so always add 1 to the power divided by 9 plus 1 then plus c so like that <coughs> you notice integration too is easy so again integral of 4 s raised to power 3 ds now if we integrate this we don't need the 4 at the back like you don't need to touch it but the important thing is that we are adding 1 as you know this power is 3 we are adding 1 to the power that is our important point 4 3 s plus 1 over so that will be 4 s raised to power 4 over 4 plus c now if a number can cancel out you are free so this will be s raised to power 4 plus c answer so another one integral of 7x ds now what do you notice here? It's notice that the power is 1. So this will become 7. No, I don't need to plus 7. S raised to power 1 plus 1. Divided by 1 plus 1 plus C. So anything you add here is the same thing you write here. So it must be the same. So that means this will be 7 S raised to power 2 divided by 2 plus C again integral of let me combine question 2s square plus 5s ds so do it one by one so this will be 2s raised to power 3 over 3 so how do i get that remember we are adding 1 to this over 2 plus 1 again so now 2s raised to power 3 plus 3 plus 5s raised to power 2 over 2 then plus c i've integrated now just know that you are adding 1 to the power divided by the power again now let's say constants you know in integration anytime you integrate a constant you and uh, you differentiate a constant you get zero but if you integrate a constant like ordinary number the s anytime you differentiate ordinary number without s answer just add x to it plus c integral of 8 ds that will give us 8s plus c just be adding s to it integral of 10 ds that will be 10 s plus c 
integral of 2x ds now do you see there is s so the power is 1 you still need to use the rule here that will be 2x to the power x squared over 2 plus c 2 can go that will be x squared plus c integral of 100 ds now since it's ordinary number it will be 100s plus c integral of 1 ds that is just 1s plus c integral of 6 ds that is just 6s plus c now anytime you are integrating numbers without x just be putting x at the back so now let us combine all what we have learned in this row so let's combine everything so integral of 2s raised by 3 plus 4s raised by 2 minus 3s plus 4 ds find the y ds i am sorry integrate now if you here find the y ds that means you are doing differentiation but if you here integrate this sign is for integration now as what we have been learning since do it one by one now how can you integrate one by one remember i said we don't need the number at the back so yeah we don't need the two now that will be s raised to the power 4 over 4. How do we get that? We say 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1. So like what we have learned separately, we are now combining. So that will be 2s raised to the power 4 over 4 plus 4s raised to the power 3 over 3, meaning we are adding 1 to the power minus, remember, anytime you have s is power 1. That will be divided by 3s raised to the power 2 over 2. Why? Because you say 1 plus 1, 2. Then plus, now this is ordinary number. It will not be 0 here, but you just add s to it. That will be plus c. So here, 2 here 1, 2 here 2. If something can go, you are free to reduce. That will be s raised to the power 4 over 4. 4s cubed over 3 minus 3s squared over 2 plus 4x plus c so we have solved so you will notice now that integration to is easy so now try this ones first before we proceed um we studied the differentiation very well now integrate the following Integrate the following a two s plus one ds b seven s squared plus four x minus two ds c Yes. So just try this one. So I will send past question so to practice more and we'll continue.